Hi, my name is Scott with Creative Energy. I want to congratulate you here on your brand new hot spring spa. Uh, let's go ahead and get your Ace Salt water system started up. So first thing you want to do before you fill up your spa is to grab your drain caps out of this owner's manual bag. Uh, your electrician may have brought it out already, um, but if not, it's located beneath this equipment door here. And there's just six screws, three on each side, that you'll just unscrew and take this equipment door off. So you're either going to have one or two drains at the base of the spa here. It's going to be right below the equipment door. Go ahead and screw those caps right on there. So now that you have your drain caps on, we'll go ahead and fill the spa up. Take your filter lid off. And you'll unscrew this cap here with your ACE cartridge attached to it. So that's your ACE cartridge there. Go ahead and set that aside. And there's going to be a hollow pipe sticking up holding that filter in place. You're going to want to specifically put the hose down that standpipe all the way down and go ahead and turn your hose on. It'll take about 30 minutes to fill your spa up, depending on the size. So go ahead and fill the spa all the way up to the bottom of the pillow right here. So now that the spa is filled, we want to put our ACE cell right down back into that pipe and screw this cap until it's tight. Now let's go ahead and power up the spa. Once the spa is filled, you'll be ready to plug it in. If you're on 110 volts, you'll have this receptacle that your electrician has hooked up to the side, and you'll just plug it in simply right there. If you're on 220 volts, you'll be here with a breaker box, and you will simply flip these breakers up into the on position. So now that your spa is all powered up, you're going to notice here that there's a blinking light that's going to continue to blink until you add the salt to the system and the system recognizes the salt in there. So here we have your water care package that we've supplied during your delivery. Uh, we have your pH alkalinity up and down. This is a small bottle of chlorinating granules. Uh, here is your spa salt. This is an empty bottle that is used to uh, clean your ACE cell. We'll get into that later. Uh, stain and scale defense. Uh, this is your calcium pillow, which reduces calcium in the water if need be. And then your uh, regular test strips that test your chlorine and your uh, pH and alkalinity and your salt water test strips. So the first step to getting your salt water system started up is to add some chlorine granules here. You're going to want to either add one tablespoon or two tablespoons of that with the jets running depending on the spa size. So the reason why we want to add these chlorine granules is that that ACE cell down in the filters actually takes about 48 hours to ramp up its chlorine and sanitizer production. So during that time, we want to make sure the water stays sanitized. So let's go ahead and add the chlorine. We'll turn our jets on. Filter it off. This cap here is about one tablespoon. Right now. We'll wait about five minutes now. So here we have your regular test strips, not your salt water ones. Um, here it gives you five different readings, and we're really going to be focused on four of them. Here's your FCL for your chlorine reading. This is your alkalinity, your pH, and then your hardness down here. So first off, we'll focus on your alkalinity and your pH right here. The goal is to get it in this OK range, so when you dip your test strip in there and you match these colors up, you want to make sure that they end up in that OK range. If they're not, we give you two products to move them either up or down. So let's go ahead and remove one of these test strips, dip it into the water, swirl it around for two seconds, and match it up right here. The goal is to get it right in this OK range. We want to match those colors and make sure we're in the OK on both the alkalinity and the pH. So as you can see, as I just scroll this over to match those colors, we're right about there. So for our water, we're perfectly balanced right now in those OK ranges. But let's say we're too high at the 180 or 8.4, we want to use the pH alkalinity down to get it into that OK range. If we're too low, we want to use the pH alkalinity up. So while the alkalinity and the pH are two different readings on the test strip, you'll notice that 
these bottles are labeled pH alkalinity up and pH alkalinity down because they will adjust both the pH and the alkalinity. In terms of adjusting these pH and alkalinity, you can refer to the side of the bottle, but as a rule of thumb, we generally say about one capful per square on that pH and alkalinity reading will move it up or down one square. Be sure to add these products with the jets running for about five to ten minutes. So now that we've tested your uh, pH and your alkalinity, we're ready to go ahead and balance your hardness. So for the A system to function properly, we want this hardness level to be in between 25 and 75 parts per million, right where it says ACE OK. Let's go ahead and test that hardness now. Take your test strip, dip it in there, and we'll match it up right here. Just slide it across. And it looks like we're right above the 25, in between the 25 and 75. So we were right in between 25 and 75 parts per million on that calcium, on the hardness. Uh, most people in the Bay Area are going to be in that 25 to 75 right from the get-go, right from the tap. Uh, if you are in more rural areas or on well water, you might need to use what's called the Vanishing Act uh, calcium pillow. Uh, we supplied that with your startup kit. And it looks just like that. So if you do need to use this, uh, the correct way to use it is to run it under your faucet in the sink for about five minutes on one side, flip it over five minutes on that side, and then you're going to go ahead and put it in the spa. When you put your calcium pillow in the spa, you're going to want to put it on top of the heater return here, that's otherwise known as the, the uh, drain. And you'll just leave that there for about 12 to 24 hours, depending on how hard your water is. Now you can feel free to use the spa with that in there if you'd like. So now that we've balanced our water, we're ready to go ahead and add our salt. What we'll need is a measuring cup, and we'll need to look at the side of the bottle here, and that's going to tell us uh, how many cups to add per model. So here we have the Prodigy model, and on the side of the bottle it says 6.25 cups will need to be added. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add 75% of that amount. So here I have two cups measured out. We're going to go ahead and take our filter lid off. We're going to turn on our jets and we're going to pour it over the filters nice and gradually. So here we have our control panel. Uh, to get to our ACE water care menu where we're going to do our salt test, we want to press options right here and then down in the bottom right it will say ACE water care. Go ahead and press the button next to that and that's our ACE uh, water care menu here. Up in the top left you're going to notice something that says test status and that's our salt indicator test. Uh, here is your salt spectrum, and that's going to tell you how much salt there is in the water. Uh, here we have yellow, there's green, and there's red, indicating not enough salt in the yellow, just right in the green, and too much in the red. This indicator marker right here is at the bottom of the yellow right now. Uh, once we press this test button, it's going to go ahead and move towards that green. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we can see that it says water care system, testing water. Give it about 10 seconds and it'll move up towards that green. So there we are. Right now we're in that green and uh, it says water care system functioning. Uh, it is in low output mode right here and that's because our output is at 1. Once we increase that, you can see it'll just say water care system functioning. So as you can see, the 75% amount of the recommended salt uh, ended up actually taking us right into the middle of the green, which is right where we want to be. Uh, think of if we actually added the full 100% all at once, it actually could have put us into the red. 
And that's not the end of the world, but it, all that means is we're going to have to drain part of the water and then fill it up back with some fresh water to dilute the solution. So now that our A system is all up and running, let's go ahead and set our output to 3 to start off with. Uh, we'll get into the output a little bit more in our next video. So if you have any questions, feel free to refer to that video or give the showroom a call. So congratulations on starting up your saltwater system. Your front logo light here has now stopped blinking and you're all ready to use your spa. Uh, feel free to refer to the next video for the ongoing maintenance. Peace.